What is up guys, today we are back with episode 6 of Battle Spot Blast. So today I have a little bit of explaining to do. We went online on stream a couple days ago and we totally tanked our rating. Um, a couple disconnects happened, a couple other things happened, and we lost a bunch of times, so it's not very good. We're going to have to make a comeback, because we are currently below the initial battle point threshold that you start out with before you do any matches. So, it's not too good. We're going to try to come back from it. So, without further ado, let's get right into the first battle of the night. We're going to see a Ninetales, a Charizard, an Arcanine, an Infernape, a Zapdos, and a Terrakion. So, first off, I'm seeing... Four fire types and I'm like we need to road them here second I'm like okay well the only thing we really need to worry about is a uh, possible outspeed due to priority like from Infernape and that me would mean that Lando and Rotom would be my optimal choices to start out with we have Terrakion we have to deal with though so I'm also gonna bring Sylveon and we have to deal with Zapdos. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're probably going to go with Weavile just because it has a priority move. We could also go with Dragonite and there's no counters there, I don't think. Um, but then it has Fire Punch and that's a completely useless move in 5 out of the 6 matchups. And we can't count on Zapdos being there. So I think we are going to... No, we're going to take... Hmm... Hmm... I don't know, friends. I don't know. We almost have to go with Dragonite because it has Outrage, and I just think that's going to be really, really easily a powerful enough move that it can deal with most of what I have to deal with. Not to mention the Extreme Speed and a possible Dragon Dance setup if he's not suspecting a switch in for Dragonite. So we're going to go with that, and we'll see how it goes, I guess. I don't know. This could go either way right now. Uh, Rotom and Landorus, though, hopefully will come in clutch for us, because I do think that they have some staying power over... Yeah, so we see Zapdos and Infernape, so I think we're probably safe to go with a Hydro Pump on the Infernape. We got the Intimidate off on Infernape, so that means that it's going to have some boosted... Uh, or some reduced power, rather. Uh, we're gonna go for a Hydro Pump on Infernape and a Rock Slide overall because I just think that that's gonna be really optimal to get set into. Fagout's probably good. Yeah, Lando. So we need to get the priority on Lando. So I'm gonna guess that uh, Zapdos is probably gonna go after. Yeah. So it's gonna be Ice and it's gonna go out and kill Lando right now. That kind of sucks. I, s I probably should have seen that coming, honestly. But if Hydro Pump kills Infernape, if it's not Sashed, then I'm in a good position. Probably is. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter though. Never mind, I lied. It's all good. Infernape went down, and turn one, we're in an okay position. I'm not gonna bring out Sylveon, I'm gonna bring out Dragonite because I don't wanna rely on the possibility of Terrakion being the switch in. It's gonna be Nine Tails, so that was definitely a good call. Definitely, that is a solid looking Nine Tails. I really do like the look of shiny Nine Tails. It looks really great. So, Drought's gonna go out, that kinda sucks. Not too fond of that, and it has Air Balloon, which means we can't EQ, but that's alright. I didn't really expect to be able to EQ there either, so it's fine. We're going to Will-O-Wisp Zapdos, and we're going to... Like, I feel like the Outrage would probably be optimal. The Stab Damage would just be fantastic to get off. And if it hits Ninetales, then you know we're in a good position, but if it hits Zapdos, then we're in an even better position. So we're going to go ahead and go with the Outrage Will-O-Wisp. We'll see how it goes. Solar Beam, oh good lord, that was a terrible mistake. God, I haven't went up against a drought team. That's gonna kill. No, it's not. Never mind, I lied. It's not gonna kill. The Citrus Berry's gonna go off, which means it might be able to survive a T-Bolt from Zapdos. No, Volt Switch. Hello. Okay, so it is gonna survive again because of the Citrus Berry. Ooh. What's gonna come out now? Um, Arcanine, okay, I probably should have seen that coming again. Um, Intimidate's gonna go off, not too fond of that. Not good at all. Outrage is gonna go off. And that is an absolutely fantastic thing. It's not gonna do a ton, but it does over half, so I'm in a good, posi I'm in a good position. Unfortunately, Will-O-Wisp is not gonna connect at all. Uh, we are gonna protect with Rotom, though. Um, because I feel like getting stuck in the Outrage there, and then the Protect 
that they probably will go for the confirm on Rotom to avoid taking damage from a Hydro Pump. Um, just probably not going to risk that. Might go one and one and just like go one and the other, but I, I don't know, honestly. We'll see. Protect is going to go off, though. We'll see if it pays off. We'll see if it pays off. Ninetales is going to use Solar Beam, Absorb Light. Oh, man. Oh, goes on Rotom. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. That is absolutely fantastic. I hate that, though. You've got to be kidding me right now. Outrage, please hit Ninetales. Arcanine. Wish it would hit nine tails. That would have been fantastic. So we're going to Hydro Pump, Arc Nine, and Solar Beam's gonna connect, obviously. But that, that we couldn't really do much there. It wouldn't have been worth it to switch out into Sylveon. I just I don't know. At this point, Sylveon's not looking like my best choice. Morning Sun again. Ah, that is just gross. I hate it. So much healing, though. Of course, we can go for... No, we can't. God, I think we lose this one, guys. I think we do. I think Morning Sun's probably going to be the end of it right now. Unfortunately. So, we will go for just the Pixelate Hyper Voice right now, but I doubt that's going to be worth anything to me. Uh, we'll go for extreme speed on Arcanine. Again, that's not going to kill, I don't think. Um, I'd be very, very surprised if it did. If we crit it, it would be worth it, and we would, we might actually have a chance at winning this, but otherwise, I'm not seeing it happening, guys. I really don't see it happening. So we'll just have to see what they do, though. It's going to hit himself. No, extreme speed does go off. Okay. Stream speed connects, and it does less than half that I needed there. Flamethrower is going to go off on Sylveon there. Uh, didn't do a lot. Flare Blitz, hello, okay. That's going to be a heavy, heavy hitter there. That hurt. Yeah, Sylveon went down. That's unfortunate. That's going to be game. Unfortunately, yeah, we, we don't have much of a chance of coming back after this. That kind of bites. That kind of bite. Zapdos is going to come out. Zapdos hasn't had any damage done to it. I didn't even know that was shiny looking at it right away. That's interesting. I mean, we're going to outrage. That's all we can do. I don't I don't see any hyp hypnosis. Avoid the attack. T-Bolt's going to go off. Hello. Hello. Okay. Please don't hit yourself. No, outrage actually goes off. Hello. Okay. Nine tails taking the damage. Air balloon pops doesn't mean anything. Wow. Hello. Okay. I'm very surprised at this. Hex. Okay. Hidden power. HP. Ice. That should not kill. It's a crap. All right. Well, I figured it wouldn't kill, but I guess it did. Uh, would have proc the weakness policy, which might have actually meant the win, so that kind of bites. But you know what? It's fine. We're we're in we're in a we're we're in a pretty crappy position right now, honestly. Actually, um, we are not doing too well at the moment. Obviously, as you see, we're far under where we should be at the moment. So we're gonna try the same team again. Hopefully don't fight another drought team. God, 1454. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? That is absolutely terrible. We lost to someone that had 1420. Oh my god, that is awful. Like I said, we were doing fantastic. We were almost 1550 or whatever it was, and now it's just falling apart. For anyone that was in the stream, you can probably attest to it. Oh yeah, 1570. This is going to go well. Alright, Sashield, Sashid, um, so the Milotic, the Chandelure, the <laughs> Smeargle, hello, and Terrakion, and Kangaskhan, and Salamence, so, okay, we're gonna take Lucario for sure, because that has type advantage on multiple things there, close combat will kill, uh, Terrakion, and, well, no, Terrakion would out. Never mind. Never mind about that. Um, we'll kill Smeargle and we'll do serious damage. If not, kill Kangaskhan. 
So that's definitely something that's good. We can take... We can also take... Mm, this is going to be a little bit of a rough matchup. If if this person decides to take Milotic, it'll be a little bit of a rough matchup. We're going to take Rotom, and I guess we can take Sylveon to protect with Rotom Discharge, and then Weavile to Ice Shard numerous things here. So, again, this is not looking good if Sashid takes, or Sashield, honestly, I don't know how you pronounce that, decides to take Milotic. Not looking forward to a Milotic. Really not looking forward to a Milotic. Please don't. Alright. Smeargle and Milotic. Yeah, figures. We're gonna see a Dark Void turn one, of course. Because that's just how it works, my friends. That is just how it works. So, we're gonna close combat Smeargle, but that's not gonna mean anything. Honestly, we should probably just Will-O-Wisp Milotic and get that over with. It's really looking like the best answer here. Unfortunately, we're probably going to see a Dark Void right off the bat, and that's going to really suck. I hate Dark Void so much. Um, King Shield, no. Well, hello there. Close Combat is not going to connect, unfortunately. Milotic might actually do a lot of damage here. Will-O-Wisp... Misses! Scald's gonna go off. No! Okay, down to 70. That's unfortunate. Moody. Moody. Oh, man. This is a rough position, my friends. This is a rough position. We might as well, honestly, just go for the close combat on my loading. It'll take it down below half HP because it's gonna go down this turn anyways. I think... There, I doubt there's any way that Lucario is gonna survive this turn, to be honest. I really don't see it happening. So, I think that's probably our most optimal strategy here is to just go for the solid damage that we can go for on my Lodic here. Wow, no, it did not do anything. Oh, this is bad, my friends. Willow is avoided again. You're kidding me right now. Scald's gonna KO. God. Subpar strategy, and I still end up succumbing to it. This is really upsetting. You know, Dark Void's gonna go off now. I kind of figured as much. We're going to fall asleep, and we can just hope for a quick rest. That's all. That moody, though. Not looking forward to dealing with that. Don't like Smeargle much at all. We're going to send out... Uh, what, do we, what do we have on Weavile? I believe... Yeah, we can fake out... We can fake out Smeargle... And then go for... No, we, we really need to be able to go for the Discharge. So we're going to go for Sylveon right now. We're going to protect Sylveon, turn 1, go for a Discharge. On Milotic, hopefully it does a little bit of damage. God, that close combat did nothing. We really should have close combated Smeargle there. Because I'm sure that what it has is a Sash. I'm almost positive. I have no doubts here that it's Sash. But I guess we'll see. Protect's going to go off on Sylveon. Oh, please wake up. Please. No. Oh, my God. No. Icy Wind. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it didn't do too much. Only 10 damage, but reduction in speed's going to be a little bit bad. Transform? Good Lord. This is a weird... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're just going to Discharge anyways, because Sylveon can definitely eat up a Discharge, and the damage on my Lodic is going to be worth it, especially since it's going to be reduced speed, which means that we're probably going to see the Hyper Voice go out first. Hidden Power. Hidden Power. Grass? Hello? Oh my god, what? Calm Mind. That's not good. Please wake up. If Rotom wakes up, we'll be fine. Everything's going to be okay, but if it doesn't, we're going to be in a very bad position right now. Hyper Voice is going to go off. Milotic is going to take a little tiny bit of damage. Smeargle is going to take, like, nothing here. That is a strange Smeargle I'm really not looking forward to dealing with later on. We're going to call mine and try to set up the... Hmm. I'm not, like, in this position, my friends. I'm really not. Hidden Power is going to go off. And that's going to do 
not KO damage, but a decent amount there. Citrus Berry's gonna proc, which is good. It's gonna take us back up to around 80. Yeah, 78. And Wish is gonna go off. Good lord. This person is just on a tear right now. So we're gonna call mind. We're gonna call mind. We're gonna call mind again after that. Discharge is gonna go off. That's good. Please don't crit or paralyze, please. Unbelievable right now. Wow. Wow. Oh my god, no. Why? Why do you do this to me, game? What are you doing? Giving me the hacks of my own Pokemon? Yeah, it only took 10, so it's okay. But, oh man, pair of hacks on myself? You're kidding me. Hidden power, gonna go off and Rotom. It's gonna do another 40 damage unless it crits. It does not, so it's gonna be down to 30. Hyper Voice is gonna go off, though. That's going to kill, I think. That's unfortunate. We're gonna call mine again. Gives us a plus two on special defense and special attack, which is okay. It's fine, but it's it's all right. It's just I don't see this going in a very good way for us. I really don't, especially since we've only seen two Pokemon here. That's not it's not a good position to be in, my friends. It's really not. Pressure is being exerted, but that really doesn't mean anything at this point. I'm going to Hyper Voice, go for the KO on my Lodic. We're going to fake out Smeargle because I really think that we can go for the KO on Smeargle as well very soon. Oh, possibly an Ice Shard next turn. We're going to fake out right now because that's probably the most optimal thing that we could be doing. Avoid the possible damage there. Uh, probably going to lose, yeah. This sucks. Um, oh, okay. Oh, and it gets burned. You know, just add insult to injury here. Of course, Sylveon's paralyzed. Let's just add to the terrible luck that I've been having. Let's just let's just go ahead and add to it. Um, I don't know what we're going to do about this. There's a very, very slim chance that we could do anything at this point because that Hyper Voice pretty much needed to hit for me to be able to win this. We're going to Ice Shard the Smeargle, but it's not going to do enough damage to kill. There's no way. So, I think that might be it. I think it might just be it. And we're going to end up losing another two matches. And we're going to be down to like 1430. God, this is not... I am on a losing streak right now, my friends. This is terrible. Yeah, it's not even going to be close. Not even close. It wasn't fast enough that I could use anything else. So Scald's going to go off on the Weavile again in KO, unfortunately. And now we're going to see a subpar Hyper Voice go. No, a Calm Mind. Calm Mind just to add insult to injury right now. Instead of actually going for an attack, you know. Boost that special defense. Crit on my Lodic, so it goes down. It's it's not looking good, though. It really is not. We're going to keep trying because Sylveon has proven to be a very great adversary in the past. The whole monster video I did before, I mean, it's been great before, but right now it's just not looking good. That Smeargle is just doing too well for itself. Uh, Trachyon's going to come out. That was probably the best thing that could have came out right now, but it is going to probably have a... Uh, I would assume... Yeah, okay, Rock Slide avoids the attack. Smear will use his Wish, but it might be too little too late. Ah, uh, this this could this could turn out well for us guys. Sylveon's paralyzed, it can't move. Yay! Isn't that just great? Now it's going to protect next turn. Watch that, guys. Watch the protect. Isn't that going to be so great? Um, we're, yeah, we're gonna Hyper Voice again. Trachyon has Protect too, so it's gonna be a double Protect and just get rid of another PP of my Hyper Voice, unfortunately. We are gonna call mine next turn, because that's the only way we're gonna be able to outdo the crazy amount of defense that this Smeargle has right now. We're back up at full HP on Sylveon. It's just not going to be enough, guys. I really, really don't think it will be. We're going to try going for another Calm Mind, of course. I... 
I, I don't think that the hyper voice would be great to use. We're obviously gonna see another rock slide. I'm sure it's like bandit or something, but yeah, that did a lot of damage. Hyper voice is gonna go off. It's gonna do like yeah a lot. I cannot even think of a response to that. We have two paralyzes in a row. The game is literally rooting against me right now. We're gonna get a paralyzed right here too. Just watch. Um, because I'm going for a protect just to take back a little bit of HP that I can. Hopefully be able to survive um, a rock slide miss hyper voice there. Get a little bit of HP back. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't see this going well. We can always wish right now, but that probably wouldn't be the best idea, considering a rock slide connect will kill me right now. I don't know. I think that that's probably what I need to do, is go for broken wish. Rock slide is going to connect. That's it. Yeah, that, that'll be game. Oh, no. Smeargle, Smeargle, is that... Ooh. Is Smeargle out of hyper voices here? Please, please, don't paralyze, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. So, the dream, the dream lives, the dream lives, my friends. If we can protect next turn, the dream lives. It will survive. If not, the game's over, but the game was probably over anyway, so it'll be okay. If we do get paralyzed, I kind of expected it would happen. But I guess we'll just see. Protect does go off. That means we're going to get the leftovers plus wish, which is just fantastic. It is just fantastic. Another Calm Mind. Maybe they're out. I I don't know. I don't know. So we're going to get back a lot of HP there, plus the leftovers HP, which will take us to, like, uh, 143. Yeah, okay. So we get 12 back from every leftovers recovery, which is pretty good. We're going to Hyper Voice here, because that's all we really can do. I don't know. Another rock slide. Figured it's going to do like a 60-80 damage. Yeah, hyper voice. That's it. Okay, I thought I, d I wasn't counting them. I was not counting them. I didn't know if it was going to end up having that or not, but it was a boosted hyper voice there. That was a good show of skill on my opponent's part because that boosted Sylveon that I had ready to go definitely could have actually won me the match there. It has definitely done that in the past, but... It didn't. Unfortunately, we're two down for game no, or uh, battle spot blast number one for this week. So that kind of sucks. We went up last week. We did great last week. That was a fantastic week last week. But we didn't start out this week too well. So that's gonna end out this one, guys. Hope you're enjoying the series so far, and maybe you're learning as much as I am. Um, I'm definitely gonna be working out some new strategies and stuff. I have a lot of ideas, it's just not all of them come into practice as well as I'd like them to. This team was definitely something that in theory worked out well, especially with the lead um, bullet punch plus ice shard being able to take out a lot of things with a high physical offensive uh, nature of it, but unfortunately, in practice, it didn't work very well, and that's just gonna show. So. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. Peace.